Hello friends and welcome to a Pokemon news update video. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's video we're going to be discussing some real hot news that dropped yesterday within the Pokemon community and it's all related to the release of the Crown Tundra, the second DLC pack that we're going to be getting for the Sword and Shield games later this year. Now if we jump over to Twitter we can see there was this tweet yesterday thrown out by Matt UK Hanna is his handle on Twitter um, and Matt threw this up he said thanks to those who brought this to my attention looks like item 1606 for the dlc 2 is an ability capsule designed to change abilities 1 and 2 to a pokemon's hidden ability and you can see the footage down below that matt is giving the skull bunny on the screen a kind of hidden item which is going to be related to that 1606 and when he does that uh, it asks if you want to change the ability and you can see on screen it changes the ability of the skull bunny in to Librero, which is that hidden ability, which is such an incredible, like it's an insane discovery that we've got now because hidden abilities are so hard to come by and they make the grinding process of Pokemon pretty tough and sometimes really annoying as well. I know for a fact, I when I'm shiny hunting and I've got, I've got two Blaze Skull Bunnies and both of them are pretty useless uh, for competitive use. And it's really sad because you grind that m amount of time to get these shinies and you get them and then you think well I can't actually use them but now when the crown tundra is released we'll have access to this item and we'll be able to use these pokemon that were once maybe thought competitively not so viable I, I've got a bunch of shinies that are exactly like that so for me personally this news is amazing and just generally for the competitive scene and the entry level for newer players coming in as well as everyone else it just makes it so much easier and it just adds to the amount of great steps that Pokemon have implemented in Sword and Shield for competitive play which is just amazing but what else does it mean for the us? The first thing I thought of when I heard this news was the fossil Pokemon because Dracovish and Dracozolt do get access to Sandrush. Uh, it is their hidden ability but we have no access to these Pokemon now. They have not been released and I, as you know if you watch my Max Raid update videos I have been clamoring and shouting and screaming for these Pokemon to be an event for the longest time and when Crown Tundra comes around it's not going to be an issue anymore because we're going to have access to these Pokemon straight away with this new ability which is very exciting uh, I think a really nice addition and just an easy way for us not to have to wait for events for these Pokemon to actually get released um, and just opening up the whole decks that we've got access to which is amazing so the fossil Pokemon probably top of my list for sure uh, and then you've got to think of the other Pokemon that we're going to get when Crown Tundra drops and that's going to be Tornadus Thunderous or the Genies, uh, they're going to have access to that Defiant ability. And the last time that they had access to these abilities, they were very, very strong. And especially in the competitive scene, um, going to be extremely good Pokemon, especially Tornadus, Thunderous, uh, and just, yeah, they're going to be very, very good. Um, Entai is another one with the Legendary Dogs. They're all got access to that Inner Focus hidden ability. I'd say Entai is probably the one that benefits from that most. Obviously, not being able to be flinched, so fake out immune um it's not so relevant now with dynamax but still helps out but the the fact that inner focus makes you immune to intimidate so those attack drops makes entai really appealing um with that ability and there is a bunch of other pokemon you know like lugia with multi-scale ho or with regenerator it just means getting access to these pokemon is a lot easier now and uh, really opens the door up to making teams a lot easier now we've got max mushrooms to create G Max Pokemon, so that's a really great step in the right direction. We've got this new item, so things really going in the direction that we want them to, especially for those entry level and uh, newer players coming in and just not putting them off with having to grind so much to get certain Pokemon. And um, it does, you do think though, in a way, I'm like, oh man, I've grinded so much already just to get these Pokemon, and now it's going to be super easy. But you can't think like that. It's um, it's just going to make things so much easier going forward, especially with a new batch. Of Pokemon that we're going to get in Crown Tundra um, it'll just make getting those hidden abilities a lot easier so it's huge news for us um, but I would love to hear what you guys actually think what Pokemon are you generally looking forward to the most 
and uh, making use of this ability capsule with. Obviously mine is going to be those fossil Pokemon, but I'd love to hear what you guys are looking forward to uh, using this item on and what other uses you could see. Do you think this item is going to be to come by? I'm hoping that it's going to be something that we can just purchase, maybe through battle points like we can get and the, the current ability capsule that just changes the regular abilities and maybe it's something that we get from max raids who knows but um i'm keeping my fingers crossed that that's going to be something accessible pretty easy for all of us to get maybe something like a new item like we get we had the armorite ores to buy the uh, the move tutors and things like that hopefully we get a new item that might be able to allow us to purchase these pretty easily in game i think that's the one thing that i'm holding out for and i would worry about a little bit if these are too difficult to grind for then it kind of defeats the purpose of them with this new ability capsule mind i would love to hear your thoughts on what pokemon you're most looking forward to obtaining and using now in competitive play with this new ability capsule it'd be great to hear what pokemon you're really looking forward to getting and maybe even shinies that you've bred in the past and being able to use now in competitive play so let me know down in the comment section and i'll uh, look forward to reading through all of those oh and in other news i have also just recently released a sea checking bot on our discord server so if you are looking to get yourself some shiny max raid den pokemon then there is a sea checker over on my discord you can hop over there the link's down in the description and you can make use of that there's a bunch of people hosting shiny raids as well and uh, get involved with that so as i say the link is down in the description there is a video i'll link that up in the top right hand corner now if you want to check that out and uh, it'll take you through how to use the bot and also how to go through that whole searching shiny hunting method as well for den pokemon and um, but right I'm going to wrap it up. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to each other. And I will see you all for the next one. So until then, take care and bye-bye.